Hi guys, I hope you are having an amazing day. I came to travel from Lviv to Budapest with a train, totally alone, 12 hours, spending a night in a train, in a cabin. I never done this before, so I was like really excited and I thought why not just video this whole exciting experiment I'm going to have. My friends escorted me out to the tram station. It was really gorgeous, like it didn't change for hundreds of years as they said and the architecture was amazing as well. Then we came to the train station which was gigantic and they have these old style trains everywhere. It looks pretty cool, I'm like already enjoying. I just started coming not long ago and I'm going to show you around in the train and also show you how it goes like during the train ride. I'm in my room right now. This is my bed and the sofa where I'm sitting. The guard just gave me these blankets and I'm going to sleep here and let's walk around in the train and let's see this room. So here you can see my room in the train, here is my bed, there is place for my suitcase and also I have this table over here, which I fold up, it becomes a tap where I can wash my hand. It's very useful. I also have a little chair, which I can fold down, and a ladder, and I can put my stuff up here too, where I also have a pillow and some blankets to sleep at night. And in case another person comes, then he or she will sleep up here. But I really hope I will be alone here. So that's my room. That I see out on the window when I look out. So here is my seat. It's getting dark outside, as you see. There is another bed above me as well but hopefully no one will come there. This is how the hallway looks of the train. On the right side, there are windows as well. And you can just walk right through here. Yeah, it's pretty loud and it's moving. Okay, so this is where I came in and entered the train. And here is the toilet on the side of the train. So there is a little tap and yeah, so that we can use. Doesn't look the best, but yeah, it's pretty good for a train, I think. I'm going to spend most of my time in my room, not out here. I just wanted to show you around. And I'm back. Oh my god, it got dark so fast. Now it's like almost completely dark. I just left like a minute ago. Okay, there's still some sun, but it got a lot darker in just two minutes. I went to actually use the bathroom and oh, okay it's not really good because there is something dripping from the ceiling there was like water dripping on me while I was just trying to <laughs> be in peace in there so but okay like it's not the end of the world it's fine it's part of the experiment the authentic experience of riding a train for more than 12 hours actually not going to have internet till I arrive back to Hungary so for more than half of the trip and I'm not sleepy yet it's not too late it's just like 9 30 p.m. so I prepared I brought a book with me and I brought some dinner which will be some Ukrainian crackers and dried fish which I discovered here in Ukraine and I love that I had it several times actually like either I bought it or someone offered it to me. So I really liked it. And here is my book so that I will not be bored and I will be reading till I fall asleep. So this Ukrainian snack, which I'm going to have for dinner is called shushki. It is a poppy seed bagel. Let's see how it tastes. It doesn't have like a um, very extra, extraordinary taste. Like a crunchy bread biscuit kind of thing. But I have plenty so that will be uh, plentiful. Mm. 
this is called Moske. I'm not sure totally if I pronounce it right or not, but it's like technically a dried fish. I had it several times, so I know I like it. It's good. It's a bit chewy though, but it has like a very intense fish taste, which I like. So yeah, I'm going to eat these now. Okay, I finished eating the fish, I still have plenty of the crackers, so I can have this later. And by now it's completely dark, so I'm just going to eat now for a while. I actually bought this Ukrainian gem, this one, it's called Vorenye. It is traditional, made from the local berries and I wanted to eat it with the pretzels but it stuck so hard I couldn't open it so yeah, I imagined them together next to each other they would look so nice but yeah, I guess I will have to wait till I get home to try this I was reading for a while and then I thought why not I can just show you the rest of the things I bought as well which I'm going to bring home from Ukraine like for example this waffle it is a Ukrainian traditional chocolate snack um, it has like milk, it looks tasty, I'm going to try this. I also brought this, it's called Prionic, it is like a gingerbread cookie. Probably I'm going to have this for breakfast, but I could just try a bite for now. And then other, this cloud-like dessert thing, they're like this, I'm going to take this home. I actually just discovered that there is a small uh, cavern here as well, which is pretty cool. As I open, there is a telephone charger and the mirror. So this will be really useful because my phone is about to die.
But then just now I didn't get my passport back. It's here. So I will sleep, continue to sleep in one piece. I will then finish a bit too early. Then all these police came and checked my bags if I'm not like just importing something illegal. But uh, okay, now that I'm done with the bag search and everything. I'm hoping that now I can sleep finally. Soon I will have to get off the train, but still I will just quickly try one of these for breakfast, this Priyamik. And yeah, and then I'm ready to go. Okay, I arrived back to Budapest. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you haven't done it yet, then please like this video and subscribe to my channel with the bell icon. 
Let me know in the comments if you have ever done this before and what was your experience. See you in the next video. Bye.